Hi guys, my name is Elaine and you're watching CT Valley Girl Garden. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, the seeds I bought for my winter crop from MI Gardener. And um, that's what I'm going to be showing today. I cannot wait to open this up with you guys. It came today in the mail. And um, I will share MI Gardener. I've been following him for a very a while now. And I will put a description. He's a YouTube, uh, he has a YouTube channel here. And I will put the link to his channel in the description box below. So let's get it started. Um, I, in his, in his description box of his video has the link to his, um, uh, C shop store. Okay, so I'm so excited. I can't wait till I look, get to look at all these I bought. Um, and I get an invoice. How nice. Okay, so uh, most of the seeds that I bought, I think all of them were $2. Uh, $2. There were $2, and then you get, if you buy $12 or more, it is free shipping. And on top of that, um... I subscribe with Honey. Thank, thank. Um, I think that my grandson's the one that introduced me to Honey, and so it popped up in his website while I was in his website that a two dollar off coupon. So I even saved more money. On top of that, his seeds are very inexpensive. Um, okay, so. He gave me his business card. Oh, that is cute. Let me put my glasses on. I can't see. All right. So, and my gardener's business card with his address and phone number, everything on there. That's oh, pretty cute. It's pictures of tomatoes and all his other seeds in the back. Thank you. Appreciate that. Came with an invoice. And so I bought. 11 packs. Yep, that's what I bought. 11 packs. And December 29, and I just got them today, which is January 10. So it took about 12 days to get here. Okay, so one of the seeds I bought were the Harlem seeds. Uh, these are annual, and there's about approximately 200. Wait, 2,000 C's in here. Wow. And it's the German. And this one is the chamomile one I bought. And I bought this one because um, to make teas, but also to make uh, lotions for my daughter who suffered from eczema. And it had all the information. I'm looking at the package because it's the first time I ordered from him. Um, so I really like his packages. It has all the information you need about it, how, if it needs full sun, partial sun. Um, it says cold. So yeah, these are all cold crops. So for two to four weeks. Okay. So start indoors six to eight weeks. So it has all that information that you need to start your seeds right there. Okay, so I like that. Um, I like the packaging. <laughs> it's very, very nice. Another one I got was this uh, the rhubarb switch chart, which is annual. There's about 80 C's in here. And these are so easy to grow. I have grown these before, but not this one. This will be my first time with this, uh, with the flower one. And... But the Swiss chard are very easy to grow. They grow very well in spring, summer, and winter. So I got the one that's, this one is, yeah, with the red. It has all the information in the back. I also got the rainbow Swiss chard. So I had grown these before and I did like them very much. This one is annual. Approximately, seeds count is 80 in here. So those are it. 
The next one is a uh, uh, giant winter Spanish. I mean, <laughs> spinach. <laughs> annual, uh, it's annually and approximately the seed count is 150, which that's awesome. So that's one there. They're heirlooms. Has all the information in the back. Um, the next one, it's also annual, and it is approximately 250 seeds, which is awesome. It's the Bartender Red Radish. There are heirlooms, and again, the information is in the back. Very easy to grow. The next one is also annual, and uh, approximately seeds count is 1,000, and it's the Tangled Leaf Lettuce, which I like this one too. And the next one is called Freco Remain Lettuce, which I never grew this one before, so I'm excited. It's also annual, and its approximate seeds count is a thousand. These are all heirlooms, uh, it's, it seems to be. There you go. Isn't that pretty? It's going to be nice to eat, to look at when you're eating it. Um... It's romaine. My daughter likes romaine. That's why I got it. And I wanted to try it out. Yep. Has all the information you have in the back about the seed, uh, the plant, how to har when to harvest. And I don't want to bore you guys with that, but that's in the back. All the information is in the back. And the this one's also annual. It's a thousand seeds in here. Butter crunch lettuce, which I had this before from the grocery store, and I will be growing this for the very first time. This is the most delicious, delicious salad. Very delicious. Red Russian kale. Now he didn't have the dinosaur kale. He ran out, but I did. Uh, I put a request to notify me when he gets more, um, because I'm not able to find dinosaur kale in for about more than five years at the grocery stores anymore um annual approximate seed count of 300 and this is the red russian kale which i had this already before i grew this before from another brand and this is the premier kale which i like this one too this is annually approximately seeds count is 300 and this one is tender perennials. Approximately seed count is 50. Mexican mint. Now I love mint, but I never had this one before. It is Mexican mint marigolds. So if you had this before, let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you liked them before. If you liked them when you tried them out. So I love the packaging. It's very great quality. I love that he was very generous with some of these seeds. Were like a thousand in the pack, two thousand in the pack, a couple hundreds and others. Uh, very nice. I love it. Very generous. So I am going to be growing this in the community garden here, and also for me and my family. I have plenty of seeds to share with everybody else. So that's why we have a community garden. So there you go. These are the ones that I bought. So these are the other two. So stay tuned for more videos. My next video I'm going to be sharing with you guys is I'm going to show you how I start them indoors. Okay. And yeah, so... Let me know if you ever bought from M.I. Gardener and were you happy with his uh, collections of seeds that he sells. And if you have any tips for me, please let me know. I live in the eastern part, uh, the northeast of the United States. I think my zone is... Uh, I have to look at my zone, I think, again. I think it was 9, 9, 9, 9.5, something like that. I have to look it up again. Zone 9. So, um, any tips that you would you have for me, please, um, you know, just um, write them down in the comments below. 
and um, thank you so much for stopping by and uh, stopping by and um, watching my videos please like share subscribe and uh, if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up also um, I will be putting a link to his channel in my description box below and a list of seeds that I bought and that is his business card right there if you're interested in contacting him there is his business card with his information on there and yeah so that's my video for today guys uh please take care god bless and i'll see you in my next video bye for now